So let's talk a little bit about the competitive side of things and like just lightning round through the, yeah. the labs. People said that there's been such a talent drain out of open AI that mm -hmm. they would no longer be able to innovate. Yeah. I think ChatGPT is uh, still uh, the best product out there. I think using O3 is uh, like we both have talked about pretty remarkable yeah. watching it go through uh, different problems. Um, how have they been able to keep it up? Um, I do think O3 is the smartest model on the market right now. I agree. Um, and even if it's not on the leaderboard, by the way, the last time we talked about, do you measure it on the leaderboard or the vibes? Right. I think it's like, yeah. it's not the number one of on the leaderboard, but vibes, it kills yeah, everything that's else. Right, that's right. Um, and the, the time it spends thinking on a problem like really shows, especially for things which are much more synth synthesis based. Um, I honestly, I don't know what the internals of these companies. I, I just think like, you can't count any of them out. Um, I've heard, I've also heard similar stories about OpenAI in terms of talent and so forth. But like, they've still got amazing researchers there, and they have a ton of compute, a ton of, um, ton of great people. So, I, I, I really don't have opinions on like, are they going to collapse tomorrow? Um, yeah, I don't think. I mean, clearly they're not. They're yeah. not on the way to collapse. Right. Yeah. Uh, you've interviewed Ilya Siskever. He's building a new company, Safe yeah. Super Intelligence. Any thoughts about what that might be? Uh. I mean, I've heard the the rumors everybody else has, which is that they're trying something around um, test time training, which I guess would be continual learning, right? So, uh, what is what would that be? I explain that. Who knows? But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the words literally just mean while it's thinking or while it's doing a task, it's training. Um, okay. Like whether that looks like this online learning on the job training we've been talking about, I have I have like zero idea what he's working on. Um, I wonder if the investors know <laughs> even what he's working on. Um, yeah, but he's. I think he raised at a forty billion valuation or something like that, right? He's got a very nice valuation That's for right. not having a product out on the market. Yeah, yeah, or 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 for yeah. So who who knows what he's working on? Honestly, okay. He's bet, yeah, Anthropic is an interesting company. They are they they made a great bot, yeah. Claude. They're very thoughtful about the way that they build that personality. For a long time, it was like the favorite bot among people working in AI yeah. among coders. It's definitely been, you know, a top, top place to go. Um, but it seems like they're making, I don't know, a strategic decision where they are going to go after the coding market. Um, they're, maybe they're seeding the game when it comes to consumer. Mm. And they're all about, you know, helping people code and then using Claude in the API with, um, with companies. Mm -hmm. You're putting that into their workflows. Yeah. What do you think about that decision? I think it makes sense. Like enterprises have money, consumers don't. <laughs> right. Especially going forward, these models, like running them, is going to be like really expensive. They're bi they're big. They think a lot, etc. So these companies are coming out with these two hundred dollar a month plans rather than the twenty dollar a month plans. It d might not make sense for a consumer, but it it's an easy buy for a company, right? Like, am I going to expense a two hundred dollars a month to help this thing do my taxes and do real work? Like, of course. Um, so yeah, I, th I think like that idea makes sense. And then the question will be, can they have a differentially better product? Um, and again, you know, like who knows? I I, I really don't know what will, how the competition will shake out between all of them. It does seem like they're also making a big bet on coding, not just enterprise, but coding in particular, because as this thing, which we know how to make the models better at this, we know that it's worth trillions of dollars, uh, the coding market. So, and we know that maybe these, the same things we learn here are, in terms of how to make models agentic, as you were saying, they can go to it for seven hours, how to make it break down and build a plan and et cetera, might generalize to other domains as well. So I think that's their plan and we'll see what happens. I mean, all these companies are effectively trying to build the most powerful AI they can. Mm -hmm. And yes, Anthropic is trying to settle the enterprise, but I also kind of think that their bet is also, you're going to get self-improving AI if you teach these things to code yeah, really well. That's right. That's and right. that might be their path. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think they believe that, yeah. Fortune 500 companies, which you talked about at the very beginning of this talk, uh, of this conversation, struggle uh, to implement this technology. Yeah. So, in that, <laughs> with that in mind, what's the um, what's the deal with the bet that's about helping them build the technology into their workflows? Because if you're building an API business, you have some belief that these companies can build very useful applications with the technology today. 
Yeah, no, I think that's correct. Like, but also keep in mind that I think they're what what is Anthropic's revenue run rate? It's like a couple billion or something. Yeah, um, I think it increased from one to two to three yeah. billion run rate in like, like over three months. Which is, I mean, it's like right compared to like OpenAI if, loses that over a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Sam Megan Free doesn't even know when he's lost it, right? <laughs> it's a little money. Turned out he was a great investor, just a little crooked on the way. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, he went in the wrong business. He should have been a VC. He just, like I got in crypto. Uh, I mean, the bets that he made. Do you bet on Cursor? Very early. Anthropic. anthropic Bitcoin. Yeah. I mean, honestly, somebody, some, some like fund should hire him out of prison. Just like, <laughs> if we get a new pitch, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, he's probably, I, the way that we're seeing things go these days, he's probably pardoned. And, mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Um, uh, anyways, what, what were, was the question? Oh, yeah. What, what are enterprises going to do if, oh, so the revenue run rate, if it's $3 billion right now, it, there's so much room to grow. If you do solve continue to learn it, I think like you could mm-hmm. get rid of a lot of white collar jobs Kay. at that point. And what is that worth? Like at least tens of trillions of dollars, how, like the wages that are paid to white collar work. So I think sometimes people confuse my skepticism around AGI around the corner with the idea that these companies are valuable. I mean, even if you've got like not AGI, that can still be extremely valuable. That can be worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Uh, I just think you're not going to get to like the trillions of dollars of um, value generated without break, going through these bottlenecks. But yeah, I mean, like 3 billion, plenty of room to grow on that. Right. And even, so today's models are valuable to some extent. Right. Is what you're saying. Yeah. You can put them, you have them summarize things within uh, within software and make some connections, make better automations right. and that, that works well. Yeah. I mean, you got to remember big tech, what they have like $250 billion run rates or something. Wait, no, that can't yeah, be right. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which is, which is like, Compared to that, you know, Google is not AGI or Apple is not AGI and they can still generate 250 billion a year. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you can make valuable technology that's worth a lot without it being AGI. What do you think about Grok? Which one? The uh, XAI or the uh, inference? The XAI. But. Yeah. Um, I think they're a serious competitor. I just don't know much about what they're going to do next. I think they're like slightly behind the other labs, um, but they've got a lot of compute per employee. Um, real-time data feed with x yeah is that I, valuable I, I don't know how valuable that is I, I, it might be i just don't i have no idea yeah. um uh based on the tweets i see at least i don't know if the the median iq of the uh <laughs> the tokens is that high but <laughs> okay yes <laughs> it's not exactly the corpus of the best knowledge That's you right, can yeah, find yeah. if you're scraping we're not Twitter. exactly looking at the textbooks here exactly <laughs> uh why do you think meta has struggled with llama Growing Llama. I mean, Llama 4 doesn't seem like it's living up to expectations. And I don't know, we haven't seen... Uh, the killer app for them is a voice mode, I think, within Messenger, but that's not really yeah. taking off. What's going on there? Um, I think they're treating it as like a sort of like toy within the meta universe. And I don't think that's the correct way to think about AGI. Um, and that might be... But again, I think you could have made a model that cost the same amount to train and it would have it could have still been better. So I don't think that explains everything. I mean, it, it might be a question like why is um why is any one company I don't know, like why why is um I'm trying to think of like any other company outside of AI. <laughs> why are HP monitors better than some other companies' monitors? Yeah. Like, who knows? Like HP makes good monitors, I guess. Uh, um uh supply chain it's always right. supply chain you think so i think so yeah, yeah. on electronics really okay supply chain because yeah you get the supply chain down you have the right right, right. parts before everybody else yeah. that's kind of how apple built it. some mm. of its dominance there are great stories about tim cook right just locking down all the important parts mm-hmm. uh by the way forgive me if this is com- somewhat factually wrong but i think this is directionally accurate that he locked down parts and apple just had this lead on technologies that others couldn't come up with because they just mastered the supply chain huh i had no idea um but yeah i think there's potentially a thousand different reasons one company can have worse models than another so it's hard to know which one applies here okay and it sounds like nvidia you think they're going to be fine given the amount of compute that well, we're all talking the, um, about all the labs are making their own asics so nvidia profit margins are like 70 percent uh-huh. not bad uh-huh that's not right. bad yeah, that's right for all i mean they would get mad at me i think for calling them a hardware company yeah hardware company that's right yeah yeah um 
And so that just sets up a huge incentive for all these hyperscalers to build their own ASICs, their own accelerators that replace the NVIDIA ones, which I think will come online over the next few years from all of them. And I still think NVIDIA will be, I mean, they do make great hardware. So I think they'll, they'll still be valuable. I just don't think they will be producing all of these chips. Okay. Yeah. What it's do you gonna, think? I think you're right. I mean, didn't Google train the latest editions of Gemini on tensor processing units? They've been, they've always been training. Right. You know, so, those, yeah. I mean, they still, I think they still buy from NVIDIA. Hmm. I, 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 all the tech giants seem like they are. Yeah. Am, let, let me just use Amazon for an example because I know this for sure. Uh, Amazon says they'll buy as basically as many GPUs as they can get from mm -hmm. NVIDIA, but they also talk about their Tranium That's chips right. and you know that it's a balance. Yeah, which I think Anthropic uses almost exclusively for their training, right? Right. At this point, yeah. But it is it is interesting because I mean the GPU is the perfect chip for AI uh, in some ways, but it wasn't designed for that. So can you like purpose build? A chip that's, that's like right. actually there for AI yeah. and and just use that. You're right. There's real incentive to get that right. That's right. And then that's there's the, the other questions the other around inference versus training. Like some right. uh, some chips are especially good given the trade offs they make between memory and compute for um, low latency, which you really care about for uh, serving models. But then for training, you care a lot about throughput, just making sure that most of the chip is being utilized all the time. And so even between training and inference, you might want different kinds of chips. And who knows how RL is no longer just this, um, uses the same algorithms as pre-training. So who knows how that changes hardware? Uh, yeah, you, you got to get a hardware expert on to talk about that. Definitely. <laughs> Are you a Jevons Paradox believer? Um, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> say more, say more. So that, the, the idea behind that is that... Um, as the models get cheaper, the overall money spent on the models would increase because you need to like get them to a cheap enough point that it's worth it to use it for different applications. Um, it comes from a similar observation by this economist uh, during the Industrial Revolution in Britain. The reason I don't buy that is because I think the models are already really cheap, like a couple cents for a million tokens. Is it a couple cents or a couple dollars? I don't know. It's like super cheap, right? Regardless. It depends on which model you're looking at, obviously. Um, the reason they're not being more widely used is not because people cannot afford a couple bucks for a million tokens. The reason they're not being more widely used is just like they fundamentally lack some capabilities. So I disagree with this focus on the cost of these models. And I think it's much more... We're, we're so cheap right now that like the more relevant fa vector or the more relevant um, thing to their wider use, the more... Uh, increasing the pie is just making them smart how useful they are yeah exactly yeah. yeah i think that's smart yeah <laughs> okay